Hey guys, welcome back. Well, you're probably wondering what I'm doing over here. Well, I need to come to this secret cave. That's not there, you have to bomb that. I just messed up a little bit. And I'm nearly out of bombs. Well, that's a piece of heart, obviously. And that's the most important thing here. Over there is, I think that's kin a kinstone, and that's 50 rupees. I'm, I've got enough rupees, though. I, I'm not going to need need that. But if you're scrapped for rupees, and trust me, you probably will be, that's where you're going to get them. Ow! Damn pokey thing. Well, alright. Back to where we were, which was up here. Hmm. I'm adjusting the levels on, on my microphone. Hopefully it won't be so odd as it was the last episode. But... Alright, here's where we were before. Okay. Going to move on. We're gonna need bombs, but luckily... Ah, these guys are annoying. They go into spiky form and they're invincible in that form. But, you just have to... Mm, wait, and then take them out. You got five bombs! Store them in your bomb bag! Turn the audio down a little bit. There we are. Alright, I think you can blow up both of them with just one bomb. <laughs> I got stuck on this puzzle before. They're just throwing bombs at us. Still not going to go back to the other thing though. Yeah, that's the, the simple solution to that puzzle. Right block, top block. Alright, moving on. Ah, another whirlwind that we can use Elzo for. Come, balloon hat, let us go forward. He always looks so like he doesn't care about anything, no matter what. It's crazy. Alright, up we go. Climbing the mountain. Once we get uh, the item we get in the mountain, we it's going to be a lot easier. And I believe that item is just in here. And we get it from Deku Scrub, so get the shield out. And... Block. Gotta time that just right or just hold down the button. Okay, you got me. Let me help you out, too. This fabulous grip ring, that is what we want, the grip ring. It's just perfect for a young mountaineer like yourself. It is. Climb style for only 40 rupees? What a bargain. <laughs> so, what do you say, huh? Sure. You got the grip ring. Now you can easily climb cliffs that you could not scale before. Thanks a lot. Yeah, by this point you're probably going to be running low on rupees, so you might want to go back and get that 50 rupees. Alright, now we can climb these, which makes this a lot easier. And a lot harder at the same We can't do anything here. They trick you by making it go up there just to test it out. We can't do anything in there yet. Those colorful stone things, we'll be able to do things later with them. Once we get the stronger Pecori blade. Alright. No, don't tell me I forgot where I'm supposed to go. Uh, okay, I think we go this way. Yeah, we go this way. Alright, up here. Now, this part can be kind of tricky, but... Link moves really fast left and right, so it's quite easy to dodge. But, whoa, 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 ah, took a little damage there. Usually quite good at this, but, eh, even the best screw up, so <laughs> I'm in trouble. Alright, just dodge. Oh, man. I uh, wish I had some water on me. Huh. I don't drink soda anymore. I, I drink water. Just, just soda is not really good for you. I don't know. It, but if, and eventually, after you stop drinking soda for long enough, it stops tasting good. Just the, the carbonation? Ugh, I can't stand that. Oh, looks like precipitation's coming up. Time to shrink. Alright, here's an interesting gimmick here. Raindrops. These raindrops are like boulders of water to us, kid. Watch out. One of them hits us, it'll do more than a little damage. 
Yeah, as you can see, I just got hit there before Elzo interrupted. Ow! More than a little damage? That was a quarter of a heart. Although I suppose we only have four hearts, so that's like... I don't care enough to do the math. Ow! That can get annoying. Okay, now we're going to grow big and have to do a Pokemon-style strength puzzle. Yeah, check this out. It, I got so many Pokemon vibes from this, doing Victory Road strength puzzles like this. Although I like the round rocket. It's cool. Makes sense that it rolls. Instead of Link just pushing it over this hard gravel. But since it's a rolly rock, it's easy. Uh. Needle Queen, use strength. Uh, maybe I'll do a Pokemon game someday. Hmm, maybe Ruby or Sapphire. Or, you know, I never did play Emerald. Hmm. Maybe. Enough talking about future LPs. That probably won't happen for a long time. But, uh, who knows? Nobody truly can predict the future. Alright, so that's what we gotta do. They just cock tease you with this one, but... Nope. Don't need to. Alright, gotta be careful here, because... They've got these guys. Alright, this can trip you up. Alright, what you're going to want to do is do this. Go, mm, wait. Push that there, that down there. Come over here, push, uh, wait, push that over there, yeah. Um, push that aside. That one doesn't really matter. I'm just going to push that there. That down, that down, and that over. Over the other way. Okay. Easy. Uh, it took me so long to... Wait, why did I replace my sword? Dummy. Uh, as Josh Jepsen would say, duh, dummy. I've been watching a lot of Josh Jepsen later, r lately. In fact, I've been watching his Wind Waker, which is uh, quite similar to this. I'm trying to watch all of the Runaway guys since they came up. Since, I don't know, Chugga Conroy was one of my favorite LPs for a while and started doing the Runaway guys, so I just had to, to watch Proton John and NTS. It's, I got like halfway through all of NTS's LPs and then uh, Josh Jepson joined the group, so I'm like, oh, I better just go wa watch his because NCS has a lot of stuff. Proton John does not, and he does not update, so... Still waiting for that Superman 64 part. Uh, enough talking about other LPers. Alright, we're going to need bombs, obviously. And time to blow things up. See, this is a tricky puzzle, because you don't have any ranged uh, gear at this point, so you just gotta chuck a bomb over there. And wait for it to... Explode. I believe there's, yeah, a few enemies here. I remember coming here before and having, like, no life. Being so cautious of these guys. It's always good to be cautious. Damn you! Stop being a pansy and fight me. Take your sword to the face like a man or a chew. Hey, red rupee. They are pretty generous with the rupees now that I think about it. You just gotta know where to look or get lucky. Damn these things. I believe you can kill them with a gust jar. Yeah. Ah, another strength puzzle. Alright, let's see. Uh, down. Left. Left. Yeah, down. Down. Not reading this off a guide or anything. I'm just kind of figuring it out. Of course, I have done this before. A couple of times before. Left. Up and left. Alright, we just push this out of the way and proceed. Hey, I think there's a kinstone piece in there, but I don't know. I'm gonna get it anyways. Yep, kinstone piece. Kinstone pieces can be useful. You you need them to get some pieces of heart and such. Ah! Here we are! This is where we were trying to get to the whole time. 
filthy leaves. Oh crap. I do not want a game over. Ah, thank you. I quite wish I did have a fairy on me at the, at the moment. Hmm. Alright, into Melari's Mines. These guys have a lot of sprite animations. Ting along, ting along, wait, ting along, tong along, dig along for iron. Ting along, tong along, dig down, dig around, dig in the ground for iron. Yeah, but they've got, they've got a lot of animations just because of this. Look, he follows me around. He's got so many animations. There's like eight just for that. And on the flip side, too, because there's one facing the other way. Also, the running, the pickaxes. This game is just amazing with how many sprites they can use. Could never get that in the old GBC. Ah, this is Malari. Green clothes and an odd hat. Sir, might you be Link? Wait, I'm gonna do the logo for this. I am Malari, Master Smith. I hear you want to reforge the sacred sword to help break the curse. I'll be needing the old sword for which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Pacor blade. I love all the adventures with that rescuing the princess and such. I'll be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. Oh, awesome. There we go. I'll make it... W I'll make it well to... Uh, it'll take a while to rework your thing. In order that... In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the m in the mine the humans dug. It's not too far from here. All right, let's get started. It'll probably be taking a while, Link. Let's let's leave them to it and find the elements. Why is it hot? Aren't they supposed to like dip it in like fire or something first? You can't make the sword hot just by hitting it. And uh, what? Are, you're going to the mine? If it's, if you talk to the boss, I won't stop you. But be careful. Oh, I will. And hitting a sword does nothing. I mean, swords are meant to be to be hitting hard things, what well, more cutting through things. But they're meant to take some damage. They can only be reforged once they blah blah more things. Hey, that stone always crumbled and there's another one of those marks. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. But, no matter how... You're supposed to, It won't... Uh, the sword won't reform into any other shape unless it's already malleable because of the fire. And speaking of fire, here we are at the fire temple. The Cave of Flames. Wow, it's hot in here. Come on, let's not... St Stand around wasting time. Find that element so we can get out of here. Well, we're going to do this in the next part after I uh, grind for rupees a bit. Because we're probably going to need them. Well, uh, this, this part was a little short. But this is Thrash02 saying, Be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.